Hello everybody! Did you know that there's an 11th secret in the roots of Pacha Cave? I didn't include it in my previous guide because 10 looks better than 11. Just kidding! Well, sorta. The 11th secret is the fishing spot that can be found near the horse's totem and Pacha's pair of rocks. And the truth is, this was not included in my previous video because even after searching far and wide, I couldn't find any information in this part of the cave. That's why last night, I decided to take this matter into my own hands. That's right. After conducting an in-game 8-week research, I finally understood the 11th secret. Let me tell you all about it. The basics. First, how to get there. Travel to Pacha's pair of rocks and enter the room on its right. Move over to this spot and you can begin fishing here. In Roots of Pacha, there are five types of fishes that can be categorized by location. Namely, these are ocean fishes that can be found at the beach, savanna fishes from the savanna, the land fishes from the land, river fishes from the forest river, and lake fishes from the forest lake. Now you can find all of those at the cave fishing spot, but I discovered that they have a schedule. The schedule. For their schedule, I found out that ocean fishes visit every Sunday, land fishes every Monday and Saturday, lake fishes every Tuesday, river fishes every Thursday, and savanna fishes visit every Wednesday and Friday. This goes for all of the season, which means even if you are at fall 28, which is a Sunday that has ocean fishes, winter 1 will still have land fishes because it's a Monday. The split of the calendar is pretty good so we can disregard the season when it comes to the fish's schedule. Rarity Okay Mir, so if all sorts of fishes visit this cave, how is it different from fishing at the actual spots outside of the cave? Good question my dear human, and the answer to that is fish rarity. Here's how I know. I tested this on two of my save files, one is on my year 1 character, let's call her Mir1 and the other is on my year 2 character, Mir2. Mir1 used a harpoon but had no fishing rarity accessories equipped at all. And she visited a fishing spot during summer and fall in year 1. While Mir2 used the harpoon, had maximum fishing rarity accessories equipped, and visited a fishing spot during winter and spring in year 2. Mir2 was able to catch a lot of rare fishes because of her maximum fishing rarity boost while Mir1 was still able to catch a couple of rare fishes despite not having any fishing rarity boost at all. What I'm saying is, regardless of your boost or share luck, this spot still spawns rare fishes and it would remain to be possible as long as you have the correct conditions. Conditions I forgot to mention earlier that Mir1 and 2 both visited a cave spot at around 7am up to 2am and for 4 weeks straight which led them to neglect their children and animals. Oh well, at least the data that they got was useful though. I guess. I hope. But thanks to their sacrifice, I'm confident to state this claims about the fishing conditions. The fishing spot is affected by weather, season, and time, just like the spots outside of the cave. It means that fish that only spawn during rainy days, like red eye, will only spawn during rainy days. Fish that spawn only during evenings, like stargazers, will still only show up during evenings. The roster also changes every season, which means that during spring, you'd only get to see spring fishes. Summer only has summer fishes, fall only has fall fishes, and winter, well, it will only have winter fishes. Then why is this room important? If you're like me who's obsessed with game completion, then this spot is a huge thing. This will make it easier and faster to fill your fish discoveries. Because of this experiment of mine, I was able to quickly complete my fish discovery list. So Mir 1 and 2's sacrifice was worth it even though their animals were covered in fleas by the time that they got back to the land. But think about it. You can get all the fish for the scheduled location for that season in just 1-2 to two days. 
makes it really easy, right? And here's a bonus. Did you know that you can fish on the horse's area? This area is visited by savanna fishes and does not entirely spawn the rarer kind. So yeah, it's pretty useless information. But that's just a random fun fact. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching this video. And good luck filling your fish discoveries. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more indie game guides coming your way. Bye-bye!